Greetings and welcome to my World of Tanks video. I have a really nice one for you. It was a game I played in the Slayer. And that's the tank you see in front of you. Tier 7 Russian tank destroyer. Or, as Dr. Evil would say, a sniper tank. So, the Slayer is a monster. It has a 152 millimeter gun. Yeah, that dude. It shoots like a grapefruit sized or, you know, diameter. A six inch diameter shell is about this big. and It's a monster. So it's a great subject for a video. You just got to have a good team. My first two teams were not good. In those first two games I played, I had one game where four guys were dead before I could even take a shot and then the other one five guys were dead I'm like really dude in the third game now I had a much better team and you're gonna see for yourself how good they really were I decided I would show you the results of what I had done in that match so that you'll be able to anticipate what's gonna happen because I got three guys in that map and the first guy I shoot it's pretty awesome I'm not gonna wreck it for you I'll wait until you actually see that before I say anything about it so it was really terrific the guys on my team were really good and it like I said it speaks for itself let me get the game footage for you here you see the roll call for my team and I'm there at the top although I didn't finish at the top of my team I guess it's just I'm at the top because it's you know my uh, perspective of the game that we're gonna follow so let me play the video and you'll see you know what happened it was really helpful though to have a good team that I don't know if any of them could hear what I was saying to them but no one talked except me so I assume in those games I give information to people as if it does matter but I don't know if it's mattering or not sometimes they're listening to you and they don't tell you sometimes they're listening to you they tell you sometimes they're not listening to you so, I don't know. So here we go. We are on the roll. One of the things I don't like about Feet Ball Ridge is that this side you have a glare. As a camouflage encrusted tank destroyer, I want to knock down trees so that I have some camo or foliage to hide behind. Now what's happened here, you're asking yourself, man, why are you sitting there on top of the ridge like that? You're going to get shot. Well, yeah, my batteries died. So, right now I'm getting batteries out of the charger and shoving them in there as fast as they can. And there we go. We're back in business. Luckily, I didn't get shot at all. Now, I do have camouflage skills on my commander and a camouflage net on my tank. And camouflage coloration um, I just use the transparent I think uh, camouflage for this guy you know if it, if it allows it it may not allow it I don't remember but this has got as much camo as it can have let's put it that way whether some of these tanks like this one can be camoed um, with, with uh, transparent camo some cannot be camouflaged at all I just don't remember which one this one is 
Now that is an ARL over there. That jerk is a French ARL 44. So, to a couple of shots at him, I'm going to pull out of there. You're not going to murder me. I didn't have a good, you know, angle really. I don't think I have a good angle on him. Now he's behind the rocks. He's below the horizon of the top of that ridge. Like he's probably on the actual road there. Now that guy you see coming, that is a super chappy. And the reason I know that is because I shot this guy. So check this out. There's that little freak. Now he's like about 660 points and I hit him for like 600 and maybe 670 I don't know I hit him for 647 and he had 22 or 23 points left so I don't know exactly how that worked but I drilled it I mean I drilled him bad so needless to say that super chappy has a 152 millimeter hole in his chest. At least for as long as he's alive. Now, I don't get another shot at him. I'm turning back to the ARL 44. But he's still behind the, behind the rock below the ridge. That guy whacked him. That was the LTG. That was a terrific shot. So, I mean, I got most of the points off of that super chappy, but didn't kill him. And I'm okay with that because I'm still alive. I, I'm not complaining. I'm not one of those guys that says, Man, you stole my kill. I'm like, dude, I'm alive. Steal all you want. I don't care. I want to live. One more kill, more or less, won't make me or break me for what I'm doing. Let's see, we got nothing here. Yeah, that was a miss. There we go, there was that guy's on top of the hill. I don't see him. Oh yeah, that was this freak. See, we've been getting, we, you know, we were trading off guys. We're down to four on five. That is an AMD like 1788, I think is what that is. That little freak. He's too fast. I can't, I can't match his speed. I can't crest the hill and shoot him if I wanted to. Fortunately, my friend, the artillery, said, uh, you're dead. That guy shotgunned him into the Stone Age. That was a perfect shot. So there's another, as you can see, there's a sniper over there. But that ARL was, I think, still alive. I'm not sure. But I knew that sniper was over there. What was he? Um, I don't remember what he was. But I couldn't get a shot on him because I'm too slow to crest the hill to try and get a bead on him before he could drill me. So I decided I wasn't going to really continue this plan of attack. I mean, we brought this... We brought this back to four on four when we were losing. And realistically, their three heavy tanks and tank destroyer is better than what we have. Tank destroyer me, howitzer guy, that dude there, GW Panther. Um, a, a medium, which is a buggy, he's a tier six. And this heavy tank. So they have a slight advantage on us because we have an artillery guy. But that guy was awesome. He didn't get crazy. He stayed in his discipline, stayed behind the ridge, and was really terrific in this game. So normally I would have thought we were in trouble. And I was thinking we're in trouble. 
but I told him I was going to go and try and go to the left here and, and get a wide flanking position, see if I could spot that tank destroyer. Because I have extended optics and also the situational awareness on my commander, so I have the maximum view range that this tank can have, which is, I don't know, 435 or something like that. Whatever it is, I got the maximum that you could have on this tank. I decided I would go camo and max vision. So I have max vision. I'm using, you know, octane gas to climb at 13 array. Not very fast, but you know, whatever. Here comes the tank destroyer. Oh, that guy's an AT something. He's a British AT, whatever it is, I don't know. I'm trying to get the name, I'm trying to get the name of the tank. What is it? AT7. You don't see those very often, that's why I didn't know. So I was able to get away from his shot. And I told this guy that I was coming behind him to help him double team this dude. So as soon as I get the rotation, he's dead. He's got a giant grapefruit-sized hole in the back of his tank. Now here, I know what's happening. Oh, that guy's charging our artillery, and our artillery murdered that ARL-44. That was phenomenal. That's the second guy he whacked. Well, actually, the third that I saw. So, you know, we went from four to five and we, we scrubbed three guys. So it's four to two now, and they're in bad shape. Compared to us. Now we do have that buggy medium tank. And he was a tier six. You know, he's not a, that's not a great tank to be in a tier eight match. But that dude hung in there and did a great job now here's an idiot at our base. We're gonna murder this guy. I'm taking the flanking to the right motion to try and get a crossfire on this dude. That dude got whacked in the engine and he killed our heavy tank. Our VK is dead. But the buggy tier six finishes the game on that guy. Not the game match, but he ended that guy's run he killed our heavy tank but the tier six bottom of the barrel guy you know hung in there great the whole match and finished that dude off now that thing is in my way so here artillery put a good strike on this guy which was awesome I didn't quite have a shot there I had a I had a just a little bit of a shot I'm like no no let me just wait the Slayer. So the Slayer does its job. Victory for us! Which was fantastic. That artillery guy did a great job. He deserved to be beat. That's a horrible position to be in as artillery, and I'm telling you, I've been in that position before. It's super hard. Because you gotta have guys who know what they're doing and trying to defend this properly. And all of our guys did a great job of defending, you know, the position. So the four of us, like I said, we were the ones, we were the really the top four, you know, game savers. That guy um, who finished in third place, he wasn't around at the end. I mean, he did a good job. I'm not saying he didn't. But that guy, the buggy, who was in, uh, you know, he was a tier six, bottom of the barrel, Guy, he came through big time and killed the next to last guy. So the artillery was awesome. He killed those guys, two at the end. The buggy killed one of them, and then I killed the other one. So we got four kills. The final four kills was from the crew that survived at the end, man. That was awesome. So I was very happy to have a game like that, a close game, especially one where we came from behind to win. Man, you can't beat that with the stick. So I brought up the, you know, final sheet 
that shows everybody where they were. Um, MVP was, was our artillery, GW Panther. He was phenomenal. A terrific three kill game with almost 2,700 damage. He just fully deserved MVP because he had a really tough job. Me and the Slayer number two, man, it was a terrific game. I couldn't complain at all. The guy, the buggy was right there. You see him in fourth place. He was terrific. He was one of the four at the end. It was the artillery, myself, the buggy. And then if you look at number six, the VK, that dude was one of the four at the end. So those were the four guys. You know, when it came down to it, we ran the table. It was four on five and we ran the table. We got them all. So it was a terrific result. You know, it's the kind of game that I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I did, you know, winning it. It was awesome. You just don't get those kind of really close matches at the end where you barely survive to get the victory. So I was once again just thrilled in that game. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And man, I'll see you in the next one because I got more.